Hello Team Zog, and although it's not my birthday anymore, however, I still have my other birthday presents that I need to unbox. Those are ones that I managed to get today. Now this is the last part, so don't worry. So, to round things off, we've got a few more presents. Let's get to it. So the first one we got is one that's already opened. I really don't know how that happened. It's the... Normal version of Mia, so let's get her out. I have not even looked at her yet, but so yeah, let's just get her. Man, despite the box being damaged, damaged, she looks so beautiful. Not a scratch on her. Yep, not a scratch on her. So this Nia. Although Nia's my least favorite Tom Scouter, wait, this little, this little bit, she's a little bit damaged right there, yeah, as you could see, so yeah, but, but I could, but don't worry, I could fix that, because I could just repaint it, like, I'm going to repaint my James, yep, I'm going to repaint my James, so, next stuff we got is, the normal version of Thomas, so let's get to hit this little guy. Alright, so we got him on wrap, so let's just get him out of the box. Hang on. Hang on for a moment. So here we have Thomas. Yep. He looks really nice. Now, this is the Thomas I'm going to use for my All Engines Go series that will be coming out very shortly. So we got the Thomas and Nia, and we also have Percy. So yeah, so I'm about to make my All Engines Go series soon. Well, it's my own version. So here's a character I was not able to get last time. Harold the Helicopter. Let me check something out. It's, I think he's a little bit bigger than Thomas and Nia's boxes. But anyways, let's get unboxing. Alright, so let's see what he has to offer. Boys and girls, here we have Harold the Helicopter. Let's get him unwrapped so here we have Harold he looks really nice Harold has to be the most accurate character that we got for the series yeah although Harold is actually one of my well he's not one of my least favorite characters but he but he is one of the characters that isn't interesting to me that much as a kid but although it's a nice model and I like it Right then, so, the next one we got is, you guessed it, another trains pack. This time, it's Percy with his tanker and brake van. So, let's begin. Okay guys, here we have Percy. Let's get him on box and see what he has to offer. That's the Percy. We got Percy, our boy Percy. Let's get into this guy. Sorry guys, it's the camera. I'm just trying to get it close I get to review how glorious these things are. So let's start with the thing that is least um that is least part of the show a little bit. So here we have the the oil tanker which is apparently silver for some reason but it's a really nice silver these were seen in the episode 
respect for Gordon when Gordon crashed into some tankers. However, they were jam tankers, so not oil tankers. I think it's trying to represent that. Oh, wait, there's a little, like, sounds like a little ball. Ned does run on has a, a noticeable. But anyways, I love these little things. They're just so adorable. They're really good. Yeah, ignore that. So let's just move on to the next thing. This brake fan. Now, you probably didn't see this brake fan. Well, you've seen the color of other type brake fans. Most likely similar to the spike for brake fan or something. But these brake fans remind me... This design reminds me of Toad. Yeah, Toad the brake fan. In fact, they really should have considered making Toad into this range. Because he would have been really interesting and pretty fun. Of course, we'll have to decommission here. Well... Go that way a little bit, but it'll be really cool if they did make Toad, and I think they might as well make Oliver as well. Imagine if there was a pack with Oliver, a truck, and Toad. In fact, that truck could be Scruffy. How amazing would that be? Tatara, Tomac, Dicastri, Thomas, whatever. If the company who makes these things, if you're watching this, hashtag. Make Oliver, Scruffy, and Toad. Oh yeah, you might as well make Billy, please. Because Billy's one of my favorite characters. But anyways. Yeah, this break fan is really, really nice. Yeah. Shame it's not on the right way, that's all. But next up we got our favorite green engine tank. Swamp green tank tune we all know and love. Who's, who was... Who became a fan based character for everyone in the fandom? This is Percy, and my god, Percy looks beautiful. Hang on a minute. It's just me, are those? I think the paint looks a little chipped a little bit, but it doesn't matter. I was pretending it's a little coal dust, but anyways, I love these things, and therefore, we've got our main trio for my All Engines Go series. Now, they did make a diesel in the strange, however, he is so rare and hard to find. In fact, I didn't even know he, that even existed. And Carter, on the other hand, well, I could just make a custom of her, but I think I'll be sticking with these three for a while. Yeah, if you want to support my All Engines Go, so. This is all the characters that's going to appear in it. Or is there? There's one more thing in this bag, and it's a character that that didn't make it to these style boxes. We have one of the rarest models they have. Luke. Let's get into this guy. Okay guys, so while I'm getting Luke unboxed, this came on came along with it. And this is for a sister series to it, a little bit, with the old version of Annie and Clabo. And look what I found. If you look closely, please clear up. You could see Diesel. Hang on, hold. Yeah, that's the far as it could go, if you could see it that way. It's really a pity that Diesel didn't get the new, was not released into this kind of range. But I think he would appear in it someday. And there's also a Tataras, Henry and Diesel 10 with their good trains. And the others with their trains. And I'm really looking for a Henry and Diesel 10. I think there's a Diesel 10 sold on AliExpress, but... I never really got anything from Ali's Express before, and since I live in the UK, I don't know what's going to happen. So, if you're from the UK and you ordered something from, something from Ali's Express and, it, and, it, and your item came during the pandemic, let me know in the comments section below. Or scratch that one, there won't be any comments, but I thought we need to try anyways. But anyways, here he is. Luke. 
This model is shiny. He looks like he hasn't been taken out in years. I and I know that there's an extra wheel, but that's supposed to hold the weight. And he actually looks like and what you know seeing another type of gauge engine. Sadly, there are no other Naoki Genjins, but I wish there were other Naoki Genjins released in this range. Like, I don't expect, like, how it's like, Duke, Bertram, Proteus, Mighty Michael, Field Stray, because they're not in the CGI series, but I really want them to be in it. So, if you're watching this, who have made these, please make them. I really want you to make them. And also, I really also want them to make Skyloy, Reneas, Sahandal, Peter Sam, Rusty, and Duncan. And maybe Victor and Millie, I'm not too sure. But anyways, please make them. Please, please. Oh yeah, and also make Smudger. Please. Okay, this item is so good. So, what is Luke's car role in my All Legends Go series? He's uh, the youngest character in the series. He works on another railway called the Narrow Gauge Railway, and he's the only engine working on it at the moment because he was built by the railway rather than being shipped over since you know, I don't think there's a point for him hiding away from the engines to be sent back because Victor's non is never made and I don't think he's going to appear in the series, but he may be shy and may run away, so yeah. Now the final two presents we've got uh this version of Thomas with the the trucks. So let's so let's get down to this. Alright, so here we have the Thomas in the box. Now let's get him out of the box. Hang on for a moment. Here we have Thomas the Tank Engine. Let's get to it. Alright, so here we have Thomas with the top of the trucks. Now, let's start with the Thomas. This Thomas, however, is different to say the least. This was made in 2011. Hang on, why won't you clear up? Yeah. That face is amazing. It looks like Thomas from the classic series. However, there is one problem. This coupling system was different. If you look closely, you could see it was changed a little bit, just extended a little bit. Why was it made changed? Also, the design's a little bit different with Thomas's funnel and change. I think this is the more accurate version of Thomas, but at the same time, this has the more better face. I might get the these two again in the future and cut off this face and that face, but I'm I suck at doing that, so I'm, I'm not gonna do it. But yeah, really good Thomases. Now we finally got to the troubles and drops. This one is more accurate to the show. However, the load doesn't come off for some reason. It's understandable, I guess. So the only reason you can get these removed is to just remove the screws. However, these are triangle screws. They're actually terrible at it. They, I don't have any triangle screws, so yeah. Now, the, the, the other truck is different. He has the same face, but, different, but has a different load. And a different coat of paint. Some people think this is a little bit odd and thinking that they should be the same color. However, I disagree. It's something for the Hit era a little bit since when these were made, they were owned by Hit Entertainment and they still license it as Hit Entertainment despite the fact it was bought by Mattel. So, yeah. All in all, Great model. I would give the this line a million out of ten. Just check out other videos about these guys. I might make a collection about them. Now, 
the final video is, haha, I did this so you cannot find my address. The final one is, we're going to take a look at more wooden road train to, trains I got. So let's begin. Okay, so after a painful journey of getting this unwrapped, so let's see who we got. Isn't it look pretty obvious? We've got Dunbar and Fletch. Let's get into these guys. We'll start with Fletch, because why not? Fletch looks so amazing. It looks just like Fletch from the show. It really does. Although Fletch is not one of my favorite characters, I really enjoy this guy, and I'm really glad I got him in my collection. Next up, we got Dunbar. Dunbar is also in good condition, minus these little scratches. Did I even mention that these guys came with that were from the same cell as Emery? I didn't even mention that. All in all, Dunbar is really good. I had a hard time finding a Dunbar, but now I'm glad I got him and Fletch in my collection. I will get more eventually, but we'll see. So yeah, guys, that's my part three and final part of my Why Got My Birthday. Hope you enjoyed this, and I know it's not my birthday anymore, but I hope you still enjoyed this. Peace out, guys, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace out.